on to our second fight of the evening here at VCFA Night of Champions. In the red corner, we have another Frenchman, John Goujos, wearing the red shorts. And in the blue corner, we have Matt Goff, wearing the camo shorts. Matt's a serving member of the British Armed Forces, recently returning from a tour of Afghanistan. So it's a pleasure to have him here tonight. Good strikes early from the Frenchman. Driving Mr. Goff back up against the cage. Good clinch battle already from both guys trying to assert their dominance on the hips. John is the more experienced fighter. He has a record of one and two. And this is a debut for Matt Goff. Need to see a bit of pummeling from either guy here to really get control of their opponent. Double underhooks now for Matt Goff. It looks like, oh no, sorry, my mistake. My angle was blocked. 50-50 position here, really is a tiring war of attrition. Both guys are asserting a incredible amount of pressure on uh, on your opponent. Although the position may look somewhat static, I can assure you it is incredibly tiring. Both guys have had good success with the knees. And Goff now driving forward, dropping his level well in on the singles. Got to watch his neck though. Frenchman's trying to get a, what we call a coin flip grip on that guillotine. One hand on the back of the other. Good from the Englishman. Looking to pick that leg up and drive it across the cage in front of his opponent. Switches to the double, which completes very nicely. Really nice combination wrestling from the British serviceman. He's in top guard position here, though. He needs to look to keep his posture up. Kicking away the Frenchman, clearly he wants to get back to his feet. Good ankle control, let's see if he can get his hips in and really land a couple of big shots. Throw those legs to the side. Drop some ground and pound. A couple of meaningful strikes from Matt Goff. Control here on the first, doing a good job of managing those legs in open guard, assuring he's not going to get up kicked to the face. Of course, he does have to be careful of leaning over. Interesting, the Frenchman looking to keep the legs straight, work on the biomechanics of a strong straight limb and check that kneecap. And throwing the legs to the side with a sort of standing smash pass was the man in the blue corner. He's got to be careful of this guillotine now, though it doesn't look like it's in tight. A good first round from both fighters. Really, Matt Goff getting the takedown he wanted and landing a couple of decent strikes. It was a fairly 50-50 battle of clinch work and knees before that. You probably see the judges leaning the way of Matt Goff in that round. We can be fairly certain, being a, a serving uh, member of the armed forces, that he has been in a few hairy situations. And clearly, showing that experience, able to stay incredibly calm in the cage here tonight. Two deep breaths from the corner. Jean Gujot. Round two. Referee just checking both fighters are ready. We're underway with round two here. Touch of gloves, nice show of respect. Matt Goff in the green shorts taking on the man from Montpellier, Jean Goujot in the red shorts. Again, Matt Goff making no bones about it. He's looking to drive forward and get that takedown. Fucking for that top position. Again, he's going to be careful of his neck. 
Edge was doing a very good job of threatening each time, but the semi-pro rule set requires these eight ounce gloves, which does give you a decent amount of bolt on your hand. Getting under the chin can be somewhat difficult. Nice inside knees from Matt Goff. He's obviously got the option at any point to drop for the takedown from there, but reverse by Jean Goujot. A very nice level chain uh, from Matt Goff. He's got in on the hips again. Let's see if he can use that arm strength, draw the leg to him. Looks for a big single leg pickup and got to be careful, as we said, of the neck. He does appear to be caught in a slightly deeper guillotine here. Frenchman looking one elbow really high. Oh, he's got the grip all the way through. And the figure four setup gives the Frenchman this submission. He was hunting that guillotine every takedown attempt from Matt Goff. Every time it was successful or he was even getting close to uh, securing it, the Frenchman was right there threatening his neck. And three or four times eventually he managed to get the submission in. A, a good solid win for the man from Montpellier. Thank you, Matt. Beautiful.